you can just see the Metro 6R4 of Dagfin Larsen. That is, a, that is certainly That's one to watch. That's another worry car, isn't it? Yes, Dagfin Larsen has done wonders with his car. Moropoulos is in third. And it's Rolf Nielsen and Larsen who's going in there. And Dagfin Larsen trying to hold it around the corner. Will he do it? If, if Dimmy can get tucked in there, he'll have second place. And he does indeed. He and he's got first place. He's got first place. Dimmy hold it together. That is absolutely fantastic. Well, but we definitely need the points because at the moment, with their last two uh, results, Finland have taken over the lead. They've got some 70 points to Britain's 69. Bit of uh, fiberglass going flying there, Bill. I'm not quite sure what it came off or where it came from. But Dimi Mavropoulos has got his nose in front, and if he can only hold it there, but as I said earlier on, it is very, very hard indeed to drive from the front. The Nissan Cherry stops there, the 16-valve Nissan Cherry. Uh, uh, German driver. And as they come round to complete uh, the first lap, it's still Dimi in the lead, but they're all very closed up as Larson there tries to take the RS200. No chance. Nielsen's Rob in Nielsen. the tyres. Nielsen's in the tyres. He's but he just lose the place yet. Well, well, I don't know how he did that, Colin, because he just kept going, didn't he? Well, he just bounced straight off it and <laughs> kept his foot buried. Just imagine the bravery of a guy who sees himself going to the side and still keeps his foot buried in the accelerator. But well, we've seen two cars going over there. It's, uh, I wouldn't have liked to have been in the driving seat. No, I certainly wouldn't. But, Bill, from the British point of view, this excellent result from Dimi Mavropoulos with a Sweden and a Norwegian behind him means I'm asking myself, where is the Finn in this race? We've got... Well, it's Jukka Peltari that we're looking for. If we can see a white and yellow Porsche coming into the picture, that's where it'll be. But uh, certainly he's nowhere in view at the moment. Meanwhile, Larson, they're trying to go up round the outside of the Irish 200. He can't do it there. I don't believe it. Oh, you're going to have to go over the curbs. Yes, both of them. Have it. The chicane there just does not allow for overtaking. And the Porsche is just behind these two, in fact. There he is. So the Porsche of uh, Jukka Peltari is in fourth place at the moment. Well, we don't really want anything to happen to the Norwegian and Swedish challenge uh, as they try to bash each other apart. There's me being nationalistic again. Apologies to our Scandinavian viewers, certainly. I hope our Scandinavian viewers are enjoying this <laughs> tremendous display of exotic machinery as much as we are here. And the Metro there has suddenly dropped back, didn't he, Colin? Yes, and number 32 is going slowly too. Rolf Nielsen, perhaps he knows the challenge has gone and knows he can't possibly overtake the leading car of Dimi Mavropoulos. We've got three laps to go. These are long races, relatively speaking, for Rallycross. They've got a lot more time in the car than they normally have. With just three and a half lap sprints. Six laps is almost twice the time in the car. Well, I think, Colin, that it would be safe to say that at this point, halfway through the race, that Rolf Nielsen has appeared to have given up chasing uh, Dimi Mavropoulos. Uh, he certainly isn't making any impression on him, and he doesn't appear to be going that fast, does uh, Rolf? No, both of them have slowed down. I do, I, he's certainly got a bit of fiberglass missing from the back. I'd, I'd like to see that back left-hand tyre. It looks to me as if he's got a flat back left-hand tyre, in which case, if he's dragging that around, maybe the Metro has as well. Can you, that back left? No, it looked all right as it came past our screens. There is the Metro of uh, Larson, who's closing right up. The piece of material you can see there off the car, that is actually part of one of the stickers. That back left-hand tyre is not well. It, 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 it's all right, all the, well, most of the place, Bill, but it seems to be flat at the bottom. That's <laughs> well said. Yes, you have to remember, of course, that these tyres can look as if they're perfectly OK when the weight of the car is on the opposite corner. So, in fact, a, a tyre can actually be flat and yet look perfectly OK. But certainly uh, number 75's tyres, Dagfin Larsen, seems to have gone off. Uh, it looks as if he's overheated something because he's not able to hold the car on the line that he was able to. Maybe he also has got a puncture problem because these two certainly have been bashing the daylights out of each other. He's very late on his braking through into there. And look what he's caught up having been late on his braking. Now there's definitely a problem there. He's having to go very, very slowly there. And the Metro 6R4 is going to challenge. But now, oh, challenge, goodness me, goes straight over the curb. The Metro 6R4 takes the position. And I am absolutely certain that Rolf Nielsen has got a problem there. He is too good a driver to allow that to happen. Certainly, and they've only got one lap to go. Just see some of the smoke there coming off the back of the RS200. I don't know if that is from the engine. It could be from bodywork on the tyre. 
we, we want him to hold this third place because he gives us a Great Britain another point over Finland. The challenge is between Finland and Great Britain. Finland the winners last year, but not allowed to host it this time because they hosted it when they won it in their home country. Well, there is the leader, Dimi Mavropoulos. The checker flag is ready for him. Second place, Dagfin Larsson in the Metro 6R4. Let's see if he makes a run at the finish. He really hasn't got enough time in which to do so. Nilsson's still there, smoking like mad. And there is Jukka Peltari in the Porsche. The Porsche will be scenting blood as the Dimi Mavropoulos takes the position. Followed very closely indeed by Dagfin Larsson. He made up a lot of ground. Third place to Rob Nilsson. And Yuka Peltari for Finland coming in fourth place, which by my quick calculation, Bill, puts Britain great uh, uh, back in the lead. 